All right, so this has been a highly requested tutorial for a while now. This one's gonna be focused on using stock VSTs inside FL Studio to make beats. And sometimes that's all you got, so let's go. The three that I chose from FL to use are Flex, Citrus, and GMS. These are all stock plugins inside of FL. We'll obviously get some processing going. We're gonna make something, render it out, flip it, process it, do all that good stuff. So I'm gonna start off by bringing out the BPM to something faster, something in the 160s. We'll just go right here, that's cool. And then I'm gonna throw a soft clipper on the master bus right here. And soft clippers always sound really good, especially FLs. Oh, this one's kinda cool, which one was that? Kinda like that. Just like it, so I know which one it is. We'll start off with that, that's fine. Let's go into piano roll. Let's choose a scale that we wanna be in. We are in minor right here. We could go like D sharp and maybe pitch it later. simple bring this over here like this let's actually cut this part out and bring this out to be a little bit longer this little part right here just to kind of switch it up and this is going to be like the first melody we use so we'll just render this out and this is going to be you've seen me do it in a couple of tutorials like the core foundation of it and then we'll like flip it and whatnot and then we'll go in there and like add more stuff to it so we'll just utilize this right now for the effects i just have some reverb on it i went with the stock fo reverb and then i just got portal from output on it and now it sounds like this So what I want to do is actually duplicate this piano right here inside Flex. And I want to try to see if they have like a piano with a really nice like low end. All right, just from listening, I'd probably choose this one right here or the Yamaha, this one. For adding in like those low notes, you need a high quality piano for sure. Something that has like a full feeling to it, especially when you're hitting like lower notes. When you go down here. So that one's cool. We could also try the other one, which was the this one right here. Let's see. This one's a little bit more smooth. I like this one. There we go. Then we can control A, shift click, control up arrow, and layer in another octave. There we go. Then for this, what I wanna do is try to find something maybe inside citrus, like a bell or something. There's a whole, bro, this is so difficult to look at. <laughs> There's so much going on. Uh, I can't even see. Okay, let's just start here, ARP. Let's actually try ARP. I don't know, maybe there's like a fire ARP in here. All right, so for the ARP, I found this Moonray one. It actually sounds really good with some processing. Let me show you it without the processing and then I'll show you it with it. This is what it sounds like by itself. And then with the processing. It 
So I got halftime on it. Then I have portal on it. Then I have some EQ on it, cutting out some lows and some highs and then some reverb on it. So what I wanna do is actually export this out and then like pitch it up an octave. And then we'll take this right here and we'll put it to stretch and we'll go up a whole octave and bring it down. And let's layer it in with the rest. It's fire. Stock VSTs, bro, come on. All right, so I thought I was gonna add in a lead, but I did find this inside of GMS. It's this preset right here in Synths and Leads. It's just called Midnight One. And that's just going through processing too with some reverb and portal. Then the only other thing I want to add is like a sub bass to this. And I'm going to just go inside of my Broken Hearts drum kit. Try like bass two real quick. That's crazy. And we can export this all as one, just real quick to see what it sounds like pitched around. That kind of goes crazy. I am gonna get some drums out of the Doom and Multi kit, which you've seen in the last video if you watched. It is unreleased, it will be out soon, but this is going to be my brand new multi-kit. You can see there's a whole bunch of different stuff in here from 808s, accents, phrases, we'll add some phrases in. So it will be out soon, I still gotta finish up some of it, but I'ma just load in some drums right here and then we'll lay down the drums. Just to get a little idea going, let's bring the snare. Simple like that. That's clean. Like that. I mean, even that sounds cool. We could do something like that. I like that. We'll just have it for like one part. That's fire. All right, let's get the 808 in. Ugh. And then I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit so I could really hit that soft clipper. Oh, hold on. Let's change the key real quick so we can see the notes. Go to E. And then we can 
switch it right here. Facing there. Probably want to go something like this. There we go. I like the variation between these two. This one has like a lot of spacing, and then this one's kind of going a little bit more crazy. And then we just change up the little roll we did there. I think this sounds really good. Uh, honestly, I'd probably just leave it like this. I would oh no 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 we need to add some accents and some vocals real quick so I'm gonna go into the doomed kit I'm not gonna preview any of these just yet so I'm gonna just get like some vocals from here and some accents and then throw them in and we'll hear what it sounds like all right so these are the two accents I added in let's hear the melody before we hear the full beat at the end of the video so I'm gonna just play this right now but just these two accents alone with a little bit of processing added a lot to this So for stock VSTs, I really like how this came out. You definitely can create some really good beats with stock VSTs. If you get some effects plugins, it really just helps out a lot so that you could throw them on the stock VSTs and kind of manipulate them, especially for making like dark trap beats like this. Hopefully you're able to learn something from this video. As always, appreciate you watching. If you're interested in any of my kits, there'll be a link to those in the description. Make sure to join the Discord link to that in the description as well. Let's hear the full beat. 